Hi, and welcome to AEHelp.com's IELTS test preparation videos. In this lesson, I will tell you about five important secrets to know before you sit your next IELTS exam. Again, we have partnered with Skillshare, a world-class platform that lets you choose and study from hundreds of different skills taught by professionals. Whether you're learning English grammar, writing, or reading, Skillshare's a great place to start. I myself will be learning about photography this year. Challenge yourself, be creative, use Skillshare. And now you can use the link in the stream description to get your first two months for free. Join Skillshare today. Now watch and learn. Secret number one, IELTS is not just a test of English. It is also testing how well you can think under pressure and how well you can analyze and use information. It tests your critical and rational thinking. This is why there are two versions of the exam, general and the academic. The academic tests communication and analytic thinking at an even higher level than the general. Notice this listening section example here. Listen to the audio and pay attention to the question. It had the capacity to carry over 3,500 passengers as well as the over 800 people on the crew of the ship. Despite its massive size and impressive capacity. All right, so as you've realized, the correct answer is C, 4,300 occupancy for the Titanic. Why? Because there are 800 crew members and 3,500 passengers. Although the audio doesn't give you the number 4,300 directly, by listening and using some simple math, you arrive to the correct answer. You need to use critical thinking and stay calm and focused to get high band scores in all sections of the exam. So make sure to improve these skills as well as your vocabulary and grammar. Secret number two, the IELTS exam is a highly reliable and valid test of English and communication. This means that you cannot improve your IELTS band score by just sitting the exam again and again until you actually improve your English and communication skills. This also means that for most students who ask to remark their exams, their band scores do not go up. A reliable exam is an exam that gives the same results when the skill level of the student remains the same. A valid exam means it's testing what it is designed to measure. In this case, IELTS exams do both. So, the only way to improve your IELTS band score is to actually improve your English and communication. Don't waste money if you don't have confidence that you've truly improved. Secret number three, there are no shortcuts and quick tricks to getting those high IELTS band scores above seven. This means skimming and scanning in the reading section for answers is not an effective strategy. Why? Because a lot of the information in the questions are paraphrased from the passage using synonyms, grammar, expressions, and you cannot search for this type of information. In addition, a lot of questions like true, false, not given make it impossible to search for the right answer. What do I mean? Well, if the answer is not given, 
you have to skim the entire text to maybe realize that it's not present. So this is simply not an effective strategy. Also, memorizing catch phrases and vocabulary like the word plethora or, well, thank you for giving me this opportunity. There are a lot of reasons why people. These types of catch phrases, unless they're natural, are not effective to get high scores in the speaking section. You have to be natural. You have to be yourself. In the reading section, you have to read, understand, and answer. Take a look at this paragraph from one of our passages and look at the answer. You will notice the only way to get this correct is to read the paragraph. Secret number four. To get high band scores in the speaking and writing sections, the most important factor is coherence. This means how clearly and accurately you answer questions with detail. Many students believe that pronunciation, vocabulary and grammar range are really important to get those high scores. While it's true that pronunciation, grammar and lexical resource do matter, the most important is coherence. If you have great coherence, you can get a high score. If you have poor coherence, even with advanced grammar and vocabulary, you will get a low band score. Take a look at this task two question and introductory paragraph. It is very coherent and contains a great amount of detail. This is what you need to do to get high band scores. Secret number five. The only one who can guarantee a high IELTS band score is you. There are a lot of great materials available online and in schools to help you improve for your exam. But at the end of the day, it really does come down to effective practice. You have to read English every day before your exam. This means at least one or two hours, not just from short articles and practice exams, but also make sure to read books. Choose a book that interests you and spend time reading it each day. In addition, make sure to practice your writing and speaking. Find a speaking partner on our website or elsewhere, but make sure that you're practicing speaking as much as possible, whether it's by yourself in front of a mirror or recording yourself on the phone. With a tutor or a speaking partner, you have to practice. Practice makes perfect. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. Learn many more tips and strategies to get those high IELTS band scores, including over 100 hours of video lessons, a fully interactive course, and six original practice exams. Visit and join our premium package at aehelp.com. Download our app, Academic IELTS Help, from your Google Play and Apple app stores. Begin learning for success today. Subscribe to our channel, click over here, watch more videos, click right here, or click our IELTS Hero for over 100 hours of complete video lessons and six original practice exams to help you pass IELTS.